folks, Charlie Shelton with Disneyland News today, back once again at Disneyland to try some new foods. Blue Bayou has recently reopened, and they're doing walk-up only, no advanced reservations, so it was much easier to get a table. So at 11 o'clock, we ran right over here and joined the walk-up list online on our Disneyland app. We got a table pretty quickly, and we're set for lunch. So we're here, uh, excited to try the food. It's just as good as it's always been. The service has been immaculate. But the view is a little bit different. As you can tell by the walls behind me, while Pirates of the Caribbean is still under refurbishment until July 1st, the view to the ride has been blocked off. And that's part of the charm of dining at the Blue Bayou is being able to watch the boats go by and hear the banjo playing and all that kind of thing. That is blocked off right now. So the food is still really good and, and everybody has been really friendly, but it does miss some of its charm. For someone like me who's been here several times and very familiar with it, dining next to these walls is a unique opportunity. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't say a better opportunity, but it's definitely unique and it, it's something that I don't get to see every time I'm here. This is, this is something I've never seen before at this restaurant or at any restaurant like this. Um, but for the guests who are coming in and want to make this their big expenditure meal at the one of the more expensive restaurants here in Disneyland, it does take away a little bit of the charm. So if this is something you're really looking forward to, I would say wait until after July 1st when the ride is back up and running and you'll have a better view. But that being said, we're here for the food, so let's dive in. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. That's beautiful. Thank you, Nancy. All right, here we go. This is our seasonal julep. It's a mint julep with the lemon lime flavors and all of that. And uh, what makes it seasonal is blood orange. So now that they're reopened, they're using one that's, I guess, a returning favorite. We have yet to have it, so I'm looking forward to it. So let's give it a shot here. That's good. I mean, the mint julep at Disneyland, it's it's classic, and that's this is a classic restaurant. Uh, this is this is all about classic flavors. So having a mint julep that that goes well with this, even without the view, you know. And, and I do miss the view because seeing the boats go by was a lot of fun. But you know, as a restaurant, the mint julep is great. I don't get a lot of blood orange from this. Um, it is just kind of a mint julep, but it's in a cute steel cup. Yeah, I like it a lot, and it's going to go really well with everything else. I can't wait for the rest of this meal. Alrighty, so to start, we got the Hearts of Palm Escabeche, and I'm sure I'm blowing that pronunciation. It is peppers, tomatoes, olives, cauliflower, with a paprika dressing. So let's give it a shot. That's really fun. It's light, it's vinegary, but not like so vinegary. It's tart, but like just enough, just enough vinegar. The brightness of the tomatoes works well with it. And let's see, this is like onions, I think. This is really fun. It, It's almost, um, Not quite. It's almost like, like olive tapenade in the vinegar and the richness flavor coming forward. But it's not as obviously olive forward. This is more complex. There's a lot more different flavors going on. And it's served on these little lettuce leaves that are just super cute. This is a really beautifully presented salad, too. It's not just good flavor. It's beautifully presented. It's a cute little salad. I, I like it. This is really fun. This is a good way to start off, especially with the sugary mint julep that I already have. This is the vinegar to cut through it a little bit, and it's very nice. Mmm. Dressing. That paprika dressing. It's this creamy dollop down here. Boy, is that good. Wow, that's fantastic. It's not so much a dressing that's gonna 
cover the lettuce and make it like a traditional salad. It's an escabeche. So it doesn't really cover everything, but that's fine. It's good for what it is. It's very rich, perfectly spiced. I enjoy this a lot. So let's move on to the main course. I'm back at Blue Bayou for the first time in quite a while. I hadn't been since uh, before the shutdown. So coming back to this classic Disneyland restaurant, I wanted the classic Disneyland flavors. I got the mint julep, and what goes with the mint julep when you're at the Blue Bayou? Monte Cristo sandwich. So this is the classic Disneyland Monte Cristo. It's been around forever. It's never once disappointed. It's served with a side of raspberry jam and creme anglaise, and it comes with a seasonal salad. So let's try this seasonal salad. I see it's got strawberries in it. That's nice. It's light and fun. Um, it's maybe a little overdressed, but you know, that's a minor complaint. The flavors work well together. Those strawberries are so nice. They're fresh, but they're dressed in that vinegar dressing. So it kind of brings them back down. I know a lot of people eat strawberries with like balsamic vinegar or something. So if that's something you're really into, this is gonna be for you. I almost wish this was a dish on its own because I, I really would eat like a, an entree sized salad of this, but it is just a very small part of the Monte Cristo sandwich uh, lunch. So, so let's dive in to the Monte Cristo. That's what we're here for. So here, take a look at that. That's what, I'll tell you what. Let's take a look inside. Look at that, that's a thing of beauty. Can't wait to dive into this. This is such a classic. It's a deep fried ham, turkey, and Swiss sandwich, and you just, this is the very best one. So let's dive into this. That's fantastic. It's like it's like a donut stuffed with ham and turkey and Swiss and just perfectly fried. This is this is one of the best sandwiches anywhere. And it's a classic in New Orleans Square. You can get it over at uh, I believe it's still available over at Cafe Orleans. And you can get it here and it's just great. It's it's one of my favorite things to eat here and Coming back to Blue Bayou after this long, and especially after the pandemic and now the, the refurbishment and all this kind of stuff, this is the flavor you want to come back to. This is, this is comfort food. Let's try the uh, creme anglaise. It's beautiful. That's really good. It goes really well with the deep fried donut like exterior. And it's it's just, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this sandwich. No notes, it's perfect. It is the perfect deep fried meat and cheese donut sandwich, dusted in powdered sugar and served with a side of cream. It's fantastic. For being as breaded and fried as it is, it's surprisingly light and it goes well with the salad because you do you don't want to get weighed down right before you go back out into the heat of a Southern California summer afternoon and then walk 11 miles around a theme park. You really don't want to be weighed down. So you'd think a fried ham and turkey sandwich is going to weigh you down. Um, but this one doesn't. It's, it's so light and delicate and it's just so well done. No regrets. No regrets. This is perfect. Well, there you have it. The food is spectacular. The service is immaculate. Uh, the view is a little bit less than expected, but it's something we haven't seen before, so still interesting. Thanks very much for stopping by. If you enjoyed the review, let us know in the comments down below. We'll see you next time.